Alright guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky, this is Zero, thank you for joining me, and uh, last episode I said we were going to go check out that other planet in this system, and that's exactly what I intend on doing here. Um, we're on, apparently on Veronica Mars, but there's this planet right here with the rings that we are not sure about yet. We've seen Vanilla Ice. I'm going to go check out this in the Ned Flanders solar system, so I apologize my voice is a little rough, guys. I've been very ill to the point where I haven't been able to stream in probably like 10 days. Um, I've still been working, though, so I've been working while I've been really sick, really busy at work. Uh, pretty much all I've been doing has been working and <laughs> trying to rest while trying to maybe upload a few little gameplay videos here and there. Um, it's just been really, really hard. I feel like I always get sick around the holidays. Like, now it's kind of annoying, but... Uh, so my commentary is going to be a little broken up, probably. But, uh... It's been it's been about a month since I played this game uh, because of everything, but, uh... Glad to be back here with you guys. Um, Alright, so we need to take off. got to find my ship first. Started me right here. Uh, where is my ship? Don't tell me it's underneath. It's underneath the thing again. Why does it always do that? <laughs> it's like in... How am I supposed to fly this? <laughs> Welcome back to No Man's Sky, huh? Look at this. Should I just like go and call my ship from somewhere else? That's not gonna work. I'm gonna crash and die. I glitched out in there. Once we get out of the system, we're gonna have to find exactly where, which direction I'm going to get to this planet. Now, we still don't have a home in this system. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I'm gonna build a home here or not. I kinda could build one here, but I want to check out this other planet first, so this episode's going to be all about going there and just taking a peek. Alright, let's, uh... I remember how to play this, this game here. Let's get my ship over here. There we go. There she is. There he is. It's John Wesley's ship, so. We could get another ship, too. I know you guys want me to probably get an upgrade this thing. We can still keep it. So. We'll see. We'll look into that. Alright, we should have fuel to take off. Yeah. Okay, now I'm not sure. Let's just get out of the system, first and foremost. Away we go. <clears throat> look at this green aura around here. I gotta look around and see. There it is. That would be it. Right there. That would be vanilla ice. Now this planet, I think, is slightly smaller than Veronica Mars, but bigger than vanilla ice, so... <clears throat> it's gonna take us a little bit to get there, so we'll just kinda chill here. Has anyone gone and seen the new Star Wars movie yet? I'm sure most people have. I did. I'm not gonna say it was my favorite one, because it definitely wasn't. It was it was good, but it wasn't like it didn't blow me away. Can we go into hyperspeed or whatever? Pulse engine unavailable, insufficient fuel. Can I make it? Hyperdrive, uh... Charge. Oh, I need a warp cell. That's right. Can I craft one?
Antimatter. Antimatter housing. How do I make that? Ferrite dust and oxygen, which I don't think I have. So we cannot do that. Sorry guys, it's going to take us a little bit to get there. I should have thought about that before I took off. But it's not going to take us forever. As you can see there, eight and a half minutes. Build up the anticipation. It's got rings. Looks like a darker toned planet. Hoping it's not another like ice thing or something. Hoping for something different. We love Big Pete, Veronica Mars, Perlium have all been pretty interesting. <coughs> so the new Star Wars, yeah, it was it was pretty good. Uh, I'd say out of the three newer ones that have been made, um, the Force Awakens was probably my favorite one, to be honest. I just thought Harrison Ford was so good in, in that movie. So vintage on Solo. So I, I can't, I, you know, it was, it was great. Warning. Threat detected. Threat detective? What? We've never encountered a threat in space, I don't think. Should we, like, go a little bit off course here? What should I do? Don't hurt me. I'm just a little John Wesley ship here. I'm still, uh, I'm still pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sick. But I'm trying to... I'm taking medicine and all that stuff, you know. So I always seem to catch stuff from work, so... It's pretty annoying. So here we go. This one's got rings. Still very dark looking here. As we get closer and closer. Sorry guys, I don't want to edit anything out. You guys see everything that happens here. I frankly wouldn't have time to edit all my gaming videos. It would be w way too time consuming and like three times the amount to upload in terms of time consuming and then like I wouldn't be able to play as many games either, so. Because I'd be too spending way too much time just editing the videos and uploading them. Because the gameplay videos that you guys have seen from like Nightmare Creatures 2 and all that, and my Smash Brothers ones, are all. I'll take forever to upload, even if they're shorter videos, like 15, 20 minutes. They take longer, way longer than, say, like a two hour stream on Twitch to upload because of the file type. So, getting there, look at this. Whew, crashed into that big asteroid. Asteroids is a classic game, but I like always like Space Invaders. That was always a good one. I 
been wanting to play a Star Wars game, but like, I don't know which one. I have both the new Battlefronts, and of course I've played a little bit of uh, Knights of the Old Republic on the channel, but got so uh, <laughs> annoyed with that game. Maybe one day I'll go back to Knights of the Old Republic, but it's just, I don't really like the battle system at all. The rest of the game's fine, it's just the battle system is just too hard to, 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 to fight, you know. It makes it impossible to choose what you need to do in time before the enemy is already killing you. I have, um, I think I have like Super Return of the Jedi on Super Nintendo, which is a great game. Really hard, though. I remember that one. I have Jedi Power Battles or something on Dreamcast. I could always play that one. I don't think I've ever beaten that game. Because I can record the Dreamcast. That'd be that'd be really fun, actually. That's a good game, Jedi Power Battles on the Dreamcast. It's kind of like a beat em up action platformer. You know, it goes in two players, too. What other Star Wars games do I have? I have Lego Star Wars Trilogy on uh, Lego Star Wars 2 on um, 360, which I've never played. I got that pretty cheap more recently. I have Kinect Star Wars. I have... Might be it for the Star Wars games, I don't know. I'm sure anybody that watches this will probably skip ahead like 10 minutes <laughs> just to, until we reach the planet, which is fine. I don't blame you if you skip the video a little bit. There it is. Look at are those clouds, or are they like rigid rock formations that we see? It's always exciting to get to a new planet and just see what it's going to be like. Oh boy. It's like Dagobah or something. <laughs> I want to get the new Star Wars game a lot. But I eventually will, but probably when it's cheaper. I'll be like one of the last people to play it, but I don't care. My budget right now, I can't. Because I want to save up. I want to get like a... Something to play my Super Nintendo games with, or I want to get like a N64 again. You know, got the new Xbox coming out this year. Here we are. Planet Roken. Well, we'll see if we call it that. But we're done with it. Oh. Very gray, so it kind of looks like Big Pete, but not Big Pete. I don't know. These weird plants, these tall plants. Surface kind of looks like the surface of like our moon, a little bit, at least in this tent. These like interesting, uh, square, rectangular formations here. Look 
at the sun there. Look at that. That's, that's a great shot. Don't see any life yet. I'm sure there is besides the plant, but I don't see any like animals. I'm just gonna kind of cruise around our ship for a bit so we can get a good look. See, they got another one of these like square structures. those are about. Don't know what the atmosphere is like in this planet yet. Does it tell us? Don't know how safe it is. coffee here guys I just need something warm it's my throat I've been coughing a lot so I haven't seen any buildings no signs of wildlife just these structures here, these like form rock formations that are just square, like perfectly. They're all over the place though. Is there a... Oops. There's like nothing here. I mean, I like the orange. It's like a creamsicle sky here. Still no buildings. I want to land, but I was just like, there's no water either. This could be a very hot planet, very dry. kind of creatures it's like something crafted these before maybe something lived on this planet a long time ago We're definitely gonna land and just see like what the atmosphere is like and stuff. I don't know where to land really. There's like no caves or anything that I could see.
no real big like mountains either. It's just like these hills, these plants, and then those rectangular structures. There's no no caves, no water, no wildlife. Ooh, what is this? Okay, here's something. It's one of these. Should we land here? It's the only kind of structure we've seen, really. I guess I'll just land here. Get out, see what the atmosphere is like. Invisible mist is the weather. Alright. Very... Look at these plants here. Like fly wings or something, like cocoons right there. I get some ferrite dust because... Gonna need that. Uh, so far, looks like the atmosphere is fine. And it is. This is a very livable planet just because the atmosphere alone is non-threatening, at least at during the daytime. Ion battery. Oxygen capsule, that's good. I don't know if I want to get that, should we... The light is not working. Here we go, let's save and chart this. I mean, it's a creamsicle planet, that's for sure. Guess we gotta name it, huh? Could name it creamsicle, but I don't... It's kind of a cool name, Rockin' though, Rokin'. Alright, let's name it. How do you spell creamsicle? Did I spell this right? Oh, I gotta look up the spelling of creamsicle. Yes, I do. It reminds me of that, just like the sky. Creamsicle. Okay, I did spell it right. All right. Creamsicle. There we go. Your new name, planet. <laughs> uh. There is one wildlife here. Zero of one discovered. Can you believe that? This is a very lifeless planet, really, but it's very livable. We could build a home here and live here. Because at least during the, uh, during the day, it's fine. Not many planets we've uh, landed on yet allow us to breathe freely during the daytime or nighttime. Let me see about building. Oh, my starship's out of range. Try and build hyper drive fuel or whatever. Next time we travel. Antimatter housing. We need oxygen. Warp hypercore or warp cell? How do you build this thing? Ok. 
Okay, so we need this. So we need an antimatter housing with oxygen. What can we get oxygen from? I don't remember. I know like plants give you it, but like, is there like a way we can refine it? Maybe from this. I do want to hang around till nighttime just to see if we can stay here out out and about at nighttime here. Oops. Missing components. Metal plating and oh we need oxygen to build this thing. Yikes. Alright, let me see if we can find some oxygen. There's some oxygen rich plants, that's what we need. Look how tall those things are. They didn't look that tall when we were flying around. Certainly are. So there is one wildlife living on this planet. So we'll have to keep an eye out. Inventory full. Man, we can't win right now. Alright, let's get rid of these creature pellets. Let's just get rid of that. How do I discard this? More oxygen than that, though. Just have to look for more. I don't think there's anything on the tops of these, and I'm pretty sure you can't go in them, but we'll humor ourselves. They're probably good for mining, though. Silver in there. What is this? I need more oxygen plants. Nothing. Oh, there's a cave in there. Let's go in there. There's all these hydrogen ones, but there's no... Looks like those oxygen plants are going to be few and far between. Creamsicle. Look at the sky. is basically a creamsicle. That's why we named it that. Alright, what's in here? <laughs> they turn on when you get close to them, it's funny. Oh, there's another oxygen plant. So it's over that way. Dang, how far in does this go? <laughs> Might just wrap around. Oh no, it stops. Okay, we can mine through here. I mean, I wouldn't mind setting up a home on this planet, to be honest, just because it is very livable. There's just not much to see here. But we can make a home. And just kind of live off the resources of the planet. Oh, it's nighttime, so let's see if, uh... The atmosphere is still livable. Maybe the temperature drops. We need to find that oxygen plant that was over here. The 
pick up some more ferrite dust. It appears that it's still fine. So day and night, this planet is fine. Thing. The temperature is 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Is it really that cold? It's cold, but not cold enough to hurt us, I guess. Need more oxygen plants, please. That's all I'm doing right now, guys. Just looking for oxygen plants. You can see the rings over there. Looks like there's another one or straight away that way. At least that should be an oxygen plant up there. So I'm hoping that red glow is. We could build, I mean, I don't see why not. Maybe next episode we'll build a small home here. If we have the materials to do so. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now can I craft... Well, I have to be near my starship, but we should be able to craft... ...thing to make the uh, hyperdrive fuel. By now, hopefully. I'm still gonna look for more oxygen though. So we also need that to build the refiner, the portable refiner. We could build a home up there. Oh. First sign of life here. That's That might be the only, yeah, it's the only kind of creature that lives here. What is it? What the? <laughs> I'm going to call this thing up. Beetle fly, how about that? It's just like a bunch of wings flopping around. <laughs> Beetle flies, okay. Looking for more red glows for those oxygen plants. O2, right over there.
I kind of like this planet. The plant life is uh, it's quite nice. There's no real threats here. It's probably the safest planet we've ever landed on, to be honest. No real threats. The atmosphere is livable. Even the plant life doesn't even try and do attack us, so... I'd say it's very safe. Could live here for a thousand years. Look at these things. Floating crystal. What? Advanced mining laser required. Probably get some good minerals from this. Rare metal element. Yeah. I wonder how we advance this thing. Probably need to, uh... Buy something from the shop or create something that we can upgrade our mining device with. Yeah, this is a very rocky, hilly area here. Look at all this. Oh, a couple of oxygen plants. Yeah, I mean, nothing's going to bother us here. I mean, if you want to live in a complete... Complete quiet. This is probably the planet for you. Wouldn't that be crazy if there was like big huge creatures in this game? Like I mean like massively big. Like a quiet planet like this and all of a sudden like this big like monster just like comes out of the ground and like jumps, flies like over. That'd be crazy. Like War of the Worlds. That'd be terrifying. Ah, more oxygen. Loving it. Stacking up on it. Another one. Two more. Good. Oh, another cave system. I'm going to call my ship soon so we can try and...
craft a thing or two. Look at the size of these though, look at that. mine this thing of its carbon look at that let's mine it the whole thing boom more oxygen okay and one more over here. Creamsicle, who would know? This would have been as livable as it has been. Okay, let's summon the ship. Launch thrusters not charged. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gotta get back to our ship. <laughs> Jog our way a little bit. Oh, there are these beetle flies. There they are. Those are like big dragon flies or something. Here comes this guy. That looks like cotton candy. <laughs> oh, here comes the creamsicle colors. This is the first time I've streamed uh, since Christmas Day. That's how like sick I've been. Plus work, working almost every day, and uh, trying to rest when I can. All right, we're getting closer to our ship. I've been like such an itch to play uh, N64 lately. I don't even know why. Like I just like n all I want to do is play N64. But I don't have one anymore. Got games. If I can get one for like 80 bucks, that'd probably be pretty good. That works. So I want to start buying more N64 games too. But I want to. I think the N64 has the. Component cables, if I'm not mistaken. The red, white, yellow cables to hook in, I think. So if that's so, I'll be able to record gameplay if I do get an N64 again. I don't know why, I just really, really want to play N64. Probably one of the most nostalgic, maybe the most nostalgic system for me is the N64, because that was when I was a little kid there, playing, uh, I got Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, you know, Donkey Kong 64, Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing, 
fucking college basketball game I have on there. Man. Yeah, the creamsicle colors. Put some fuel in there and then craft one of those hyperdrive things too, I think. It's the only, like, structure of any kind we've seen on this planet. Gotta be at least like a trade depot or something somewhere. Let's get inside. Alright, so. Um. Launch thruster, we need. Launch fuel uranium. Pulse engine. Technology recharge. Tritium. Craft this. And then craft warp cell. And then we put that there. There we go. We have a little bit of hyperdrive for us. Can we can we make more hyperdrive actually? Oh, I don't have any more antimatter. Look at all this stuff that we have. Wait, doesn't the uranium power this? We'll keep that over there because I think that powers that. Alright, so we've done that. Oxygen capsule we should use. One of these in our life support there. Now about this mining beam, how do we upgrade this? Technology I think we need to find the technology. Probably need to buy the technology and then just craft it into there. Must be what we need to do. Alright, uh, so... There we go. Alright, so what we might do next episode, guys, is probably go up on maybe one of those and start building a little home here. Nothing too fancy. Uh, but so we can, we can kind of pick up more resources here, explore a little bit more. Plus, this is just so livable that it just makes sense to build a home here for this solar system. Um, I mean, there's like no threats here whatsoever, so we'd be fine here. A chance to build a new home and see what we can do with it, and then uh, learn a little bit more as we're going here. Uh, so I appreciate everybody watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. 
as we are on Creamsicle, we will be here next episode, probably on top of that formation right there, building a little home for ourselves, so. Uh, appreciate all the support on this series, guys. It means a lot to me. Hope you're enjoying it, and please join me for the next episode. Till next time, zero is the number. We're going to save it.